Welcome to my One Minute to Wow video tutorial. This is Mary Fish with Stampin' Pretty and I wanted to share with you a quick tip on how to use the Stampin' Up! Striped Scallop die to create a marvelous mosaic. Super easy for both a seasoned as well as a new paper crafter. So this particular card I created um, using brushed gold, basic gray, Lost Lagoon, and then I layered very vanilla over a very vanilla card base so that the scallops look much more like a uh, embossed pattern. Very cool, very classy and sophisticated. But if you want to have a little more fun, I layered a basic gray um, of the cardstock on top of Whisper White and then I'm layering in Bermuda Bay and Tangelo Twist for a really fun, spicy little pattern for a birthday card. And just let me show you how simple this is. And with a side note, when you cut and crop the Bermuda Bay and the Tangelo Twist, you can just do a strip of it with the die. Let me show you the die. The die looks like this. And my best tip is to start with the magnetic platform, then the acrylic plate, then I have my cardstock. Okay, below, you'll see, magnetic plate keeps it, keeps it all in place. Then, very key, a piece of waxed paper and then my die face down on top along with the acrylic plate. The wax paper allows detailed dies to release easier from the dies. Less work for you, but still allows you to do those very delicate dyes. And then my final tip is I actually will run this through three times, forward, back, and forward again, just for good measure. And I think it just makes the process of removing the little bits so much easier. So back to this, when you run the Bermuda Bay and the Tangela Twist through, you don't need to do the entire die, just do a little scrap. Um, some scraps and then you can pop out those little bits. So I've created a pattern on here. I want you to experiment and have fun with color and pattern. But once I created what I wanted, I just wrote in with my markers BB for Bermuda Bay. And then I'm just going to use a little bit of snail. And I'm going to pop these in that pattern. So again, you can experiment with the patterns. Of course, they fit right in. It's just super fun. I've had so much fun using these. I was just going to make the first card, and then I'm like, you know, I need a birthday card for my nephew. This is going to be just super cool. Isn't that amazing? And then we can just go with a very simple sentiment. I just created this one. I felt it really says birthday. I've got that popped up on Stampin' Dimensionals. I love how these little gray candy got dots look like uh, confetti to me. Very fun and festive. And then I layered in with our envelope liner framelits dies um, a piece of confetti celebration paper that I think does a beautiful job mirroring the pattern of this particular um, die. So isn't that fun? And of course you can swap it the other direction. You can have the dies going this orientation as well. You could even layer this, of course, below the sentiment. You could layer this below for a really cool hip pattern. So thank you for joining me for my One Minute to Wow video tutorial. Bye-bye.